Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about work-life balance. If you're waking up depressed right now and you go to work and you're also having a miserable time there, or maybe you just feel like you're not doing anything right in life right now, it's probably because you have bad work-life balance. We're gonna talk today about some of the methods that I've used when I've gone through similar periods in the past and uh, what's worked for me so uh, you can get out of this bad mental state as soon as possible. Stay tuned. I've gone through two phases in my life where I had bad work-life balance and they had very similar feelings attached to them. You know, you get caught up in work and it is pulling more and more of your time into it. And at some point you realize you're not enjoying life anymore. And that's a serious problem because we're not here just to work. Like no matter how ambitious any of us are, you have to be enjoying what you're doing every day. There are two primary ways to overcome work-life imbalance. And it comes down to managing your time and managing your stress. Diving in, uh, first let's look at how you need to maybe shift how you're managing your time. First of all, stop working nights and weekends. You need to start setting some boundaries for yourself. Set a time that you're gonna go home every night. Set a certain day during the week that you're just not gonna do any work at all. Maybe if you get back to a more balanced place, we can look at you know throwing in an hour or two during the weekend. But at, at this moment, if you're this stressed, um, you need to set some hardcore boundaries for yourself because otherwise you're not gonna actually get the rest you need in order to move on. One thing that I found to be really helpful here is to go to bed earlier. We wanna get you to a place where you're enjoying the hours of your day, you don't have too many of them, and you need to get work done. Let's make those working hours really effective by going to bed a little earlier, setting boundaries for yourself, and taking a few hours off every evening. And so there's a commitment you need to make to yourself and it's that I'm going to set two hours aside every night for anything I want. And uh, for me, I personally enjoy taking my dog Sherlock on walks uh, during sunset. So the next thing we need to do to get your work-life balance back in order is work on your delegation skills. I know this has been a really challenging one for me because I want everything to be perfect. So we need to let go of this idea that things even need to be perfect. You need to just make sure that you're getting the job done. Next, let's talk about managing your stress. And the goal here is really to enjoy the time during your day more. If you feel like you don't have a good work-life balance right now, you're probably pretty stressed out. We're not going to downplay that by looking at taking some hours of work away, but what we need to do is get you into a better mental state so that when you are at work and when you are at home, you're using those hours effectively. Now first, and this is really important, I highly encourage you to start meditating. Go download the app called Waking Up by Sam Harris. Um, this is more of a guided meditation. It has a lot of very interesting spiritual, scientific, almost psychedelic at times experiences associated with the way that he's teaching you how to meditate. And for me, it's been a lot of fun. In addition to that, it's also given me skills to recognize when I'm being stressed out during the day and some tools to overcome it. Next, go to the gym. I know it's cold outside or you're depressed and you just wanna lay in bed. Do whatever it takes to get to the gym. For those of you who maybe haven't gone to, to the gym in a long time, take it from me, just go sign up for a gym membership or at least go for a walk and you'll feel a lot better. Next, and this kind of comes into the meditation thing a little bit, but really work on taking a more positive outlook on everything in your life. If you're a nihilist, uh, I've actually been there. Those of you who are fellow nihilists, so to speak, I'm not one anymore, but uh, feel free to commiserate in the comments. 
but what I mean by this is if you're kind of looking at, you know, things are doomed or nothing's worth it, or even just like you're working on something very specific at your job right now and you don't know if you can actually do it, we got to change that mentality ASAP. One method that I have found to be really effective to think more positively is just talking to myself in my head saying things that are positive. So if I want to go close a deal, you know, I'll tell myself in my head, I'm going to close this deal. I can close this deal. Say things like that to yourself that have to do with the specific goals that you're looking to achieve. Next, let's look at your work habits. So first, and this one I find people getting wrong, myself included, all the time is uh, setting manageable goals. I think that ambitious people who have a bad work-life balance have this tendency to try to do too much. And so what I would recommend here is, you know, just look at what's achievable and maybe even cut it in half so that you're giving yourself a little slack. You can leave work earlier if you just focus on work at work and then uh, leave. Also find ways to make work more enjoyable. So if you're hating your days there, that's gotta change. And that means one of two things, either you gotta change your job or you gotta change your mindset. And you're free to do either of them because some jobs are truly terrible and might not be a fit for you. Find ways to make your work more enjoyable. Now, when it comes to work-life balance, Jeff Bezos actually has something pretty interesting to say about this. And he actually doesn't look at this in terms of work-life balance because he views that as, as having a set amount of hours and you know their work and life are against each other in this. He actually calls it work-life harmony. I like to use the phrase work-life harmony rather than balance because to me, balance implies a strict trade, whereas I find that when I am happy at work, I come home more energized, I'm a better husband, a better dad, and when I'm happy at home, I come in and better boss and better colleague. This is a very interesting point because you're not only looking at how you're managing time between work and life, but you're also looking at the quality of the hours you're putting in and uh, trying to ensure that you're enjoying work, which will make you enjoy life and vice versa. I think the key word here is focus. It's saying when I'm at home, how do I make home better? I'm leaving work aside. When I'm at work, you know, let's get shit done. Let's meet our goals. When you look at the cycle of the quality of your hours and how you're splitting those, it really brings everything together. Listen to Jeff Bezos. He knows a thing or two about delegating and work-life balance. I hope you found these tips helpful. At the core, work-life balance is really about just maximizing your days, enjoying as many hours as you can. So if things are causing you to be unhappy, um, we wanna take a real look at those and remove them out of our lives. If you found this video helpful, please let me know down in the comments. If you're currently having problems with work-life balance and you have a question for me, I wanna hear from you because I have been through this before and it sucks. So the faster that we can get you back into positive thinking and enjoying your life, the better. Hit that like button. Namaste.